Good morning. It's Tuesday, March 26, 2019. Welcome to CBS This Morning. Federal regulators study a type of breast implant connected to hundreds of cancer cases. We hear from one doctor who says the evidence is so disturbing, she will not use that type of implant ever again. The FDA is looking into the risk of certain type of breast implants. Anna Werner shows us why the possible cancer-causing drug may be much worse than first thought. And this was not something that you expected to see. I'd never heard of that and did not expect it. Was not taught that that could happen. Ahead, we'll take a look at the new concerns. Well, today, the FDA is meeting for a second day to address the possible risks of breast implants. The agency reported last fall that 457 cases of cancer have been detected in women with breast implants. Anna Warner has been reporting on this issue since 2017. Now, she spoke with a plastic surgeon about the potential risks certain implants may pose. Anna, good morning. Good morning. More than 10 million women have breast implants, and one particular type of implant is causing the concern here. Some women with textured implants have developed a type of cancer called lymphoma. It was thought to be easily curable, but one Texas woman's case raises new questions about just how deadly that cancer might be. Sandra Rush is a grandmother who'd had breast implants for more than two decades with no issues until April of 2017. My left breast began to swell and um, it, there was a hardness in it. What her doctor at first thought was a common infection turned out to be cancer. I was in shock, really. I couldn't, um, I couldn't believe it. It's called breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma, a rare cancer the FDA says can develop following breast implants. Most women who get that cancer, like Rush, have what are called textured breast implants. These shaped implants have a rougher surface that's designed to limit the movement of an implant, but may also initiate the cancer. Breast surgeon Elizabeth Potter is Rush's doctor. Is one of the theories that this just kind of irritates and inflames the surrounding tissues? That is one of the theories. Because of the surface that's being right. rough. That's right. Reports to the FDA show of 457 cancer cases, at least 310 occurred with textured implants. Most women are cured after doctors take the implants out. But in Sandra Rush's case, after her implants were removed and she'd had breast reconstruction, she developed an odd pain in her jaw. So doctors did another test. It showed that it had metastasized all through my body. I can't imagine what that feeling is like. I was in complete, utter shock. I was in complete, utter shock. She wasn't the only one. When I got the pathology report, I was astonished. I, I actually thought it was incorrect. Really? I read it and reread it. The cancer had moved beyond the area of the implant into her tissues and bones. And this was not something that you expected to see? I'd never heard of that and did not expect it was not taught that that could happen. Not only was Russia's cancer not easily curable, it could kill her. Potter says it took five rounds of chemotherapy and a stem cell transplant to put her into remission. We have seen something new in breast implant associated cancer. And I just want us to pay attention to that. It, it was just an awful experience really bad. The country's three largest breast implant manufacturers told us textured implants have been extensively tested for safety and comply with FDA monitoring and that patient safety is their top priority. Mentor says the cancer risk is rare with its implants. But that's not good enough for Dr. Potter. She won't use them anymore. I won't place them. I, and actually, in my practice, we, I often say, this doesn't pass the sister test. Doesn't pass the sister test, i.e., if correct. you wouldn't give it to your sister, you're not going to give it to your patients. That's correct. Dr. Potter now specializes in using a woman's own belly fat to reconstruct a new breast instead of using implants. If a patient wants a non-textured implant, she'll provide it, but says... The power should be in the woman's hands. Let's give her the information and let her choose. This implant carries greater risk. Would you like it in your body? It's that simple. You're in remission. That's incredible. Last month, Rush got a clean bill of health from her oncologist. 
but regrets the day nearly a quarter century ago when she decided she needed breast implants. I think women kind of get conditioned in their mind that, you know, they want to look a certain way because that's the way you should look. And like me, I mean, I, I paid for it more ways than one. Well, today the FDA will be hearing more stories from patients and advocates in the second day of the hearing on the safety of breast implants. I'm happy to hear that Sandra is in remission, but of course no one wants to go through what she experienced. So should women who have these textured implants, should they have them removed just preemptively now? So of course that's a conversation between a woman and her doctor, but depending on which doctor you talk to, for example, Dr. Potter says um, that she would advise women to think about having them removed. That's coming from her. Um, but it's something that women, she thinks, should think about, uh, but definitely something to talk about with their doctor right. as on an individual case-by-case yeah. -case basis, for sure. And even though it's a rarity, uh, according to your story, it still is a very scary thing that you think, why would you even want to take any kind of mm -hmm. chance? Well, that's the thing, and they say that most women can be cured by removing, removing it. Uh, the implant and the capsule, the tissue around, but uh, the question raised, of course, by Ms. Rush's case is, you know, would it spread yeah. into the rest of the right. body, which right. is obviously a very scary question. The idea of taking your own fat as a breast implant is interesting mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, it's called deep flap. It's something that I had never heard me of neither. before, literally, where they, you, they do a tummy tuck, they take that uh, flap of fat, et cetera, and they create a, a breast reconstruction with it. And uh, Dr. Potter is a huge fan. She does it. She says she has patients fly in to huh? do it. You I should do a story see on more that. about that. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about yeah. doing a story on that next. Yeah. Yeah. I'm curious about that. Thank yeah. you very much.